What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right, guys, this is about a moon photo, okay, and its inconsistencies. Now, many people who are diehard, we never went to the moon fans, you may want to listen to what I've got to say in this uh, particular video. And I'm going to, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a photo that absolutely will show you that they're hiding things in these photos. It's a perfect picture for it. And what I'm going to do is, as I'm going along, I'm going to ask you questions, and I'm going to show you some inconsistencies. Um, now, some of these people will say, well, it was all on a set. Okay. My question would be, what would be the point? What are they, what are they hiding? Let's suppose for a moment they have the lem, uh, the lander, their equipment on the lunar surface. What else would they hide? Other than, I think some people said the backdrop, because they don't see stars, which I don't know why they're still stuck on that, but you won't see stars if you have... Uh, illuminated surface. How many stars can you see during the daylight where you're at? Absolutely none. You can't see any. Simple as that. Um, you can't argue with logic and science, right? Okay, again, so what would they hide? Let's say there's cables that they're doing artificial lights inside the LAM, uh, again, or the landing module. W they can bury that in sand on a fake set, right? What else would they hide? Now, the other question would be, if they are obfuscating things out of the photo, what are they? Is it something that we're doing on the moon? Maybe it's other equipment, right? Maybe it's just other equipment that we're using and they don't want us to know what they're using or what they're trying to do to this moon. Or is it things on the moon that they're trying to get out of the photo? They're trying to obfuscate and manipulate it out of the photo. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys a photo and I'm going to show you some inconsistencies and then I'm going to enhance it, enhance it for you. I'm not here to convince people either way, right? I just want people to use their head. There's so there's such a growing following. This is it's so it's crazy how these people are just falling for this stuff. Um, do I believe that there's fake photos of the moon? Yes and no. In other words, I believe there are many, many real photos, and I believe there's some that are faked purposely. For like I said before, and if you guys have been following along, I use the term using reverse psychology on the public. Remember that video I did? It showed like the astronaut's uh, sun shield on his on his helmet, and it showed what looked like a guy standing not far from him that looked like I had a vest, like a vest jacket on. Knowing that the public would look at that, why do you think they'd put that online? There could be two two answers to that. One, they didn't think everybody's going to scrutinize these photos, but you don't need to really scrutinize it to see the little what looks like a little man or some kind of person in the reflection of that helmet, right? The only logical other thing you can say is, or, or, or comes to mind, is that they were simply trying to get people to go, oh my God, look, that's so fake. Knowing that they're saying that, that it's fake, you're not going to believe anything NASA says. And everybody, there's a lot of people falling for it, hook, line, and sinker. And this is what's sad. People don't believe in science. Just look at the technology they put into this, uh, this, this mission itself. There's more technology than you think put into these things. And most people are like, oh, do they possibly do it in that piece of junk? First of all, they only need rocket boosters to get there. Their atmospheric, their life support was in their suits. They had a heating system in them. They had a small air conditioner in them. They had their life support, oxygen, the whole nine yards. People don't understand the technology that was put into these things, and they're automatically dismissing it. That's what's crazy. Now, let's jump to the photo because we've done enough babbling. Let's jump in here. All right, so here's a photo, and it says Kip's Photos, but notice right here, all photographs on this uh, website are courtesy of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, also known as Never Straight Answer, or oh, I mean NASA, uh, specifically the NASA History Office and the NASA JSC Media Service Center. Okay, so these are all, and you can see right here, Apollo 11. We want to scroll down to right here. Of course, you guys get the link. You know that. Right here, here is the photo. It's AS11, you can write this down, AS11-40-5961. Jump right here, and you can see it right here. 5961, of course, it's a JPEG, and a lot of people laugh about JPEGs, right? Now, can you guys see the first inconsistency in this photo? Okay, anything at all. If you said the difference of the light in the area, you'd be correct. Now, let me show you what I mean by this. Just look at right here where the brown surface, yes, there's actually color on the moon. Just look at right here. You can see the cursor right here, all the way over here, right to the shadow of the astronaut. From all the way up here, all the way down, nothing but light. Why? 
Is there a giant spotlight right over the top? Well, clearly it is not. You can see a shadow behind the actual lander. See it? Right behind it and under it. And you can see the shadows from the landing. The landing gear right there. You can see the shadows. Okay. All right. We can see shadows coming from the rocks right here, over here, and all of these little rocks. Now, the sun is coming from, we're going to go from the lower right corner, right? From here going this way. Okay. So we can see that. All right. What happened to the rest of the shadows in this rest of the ground? Let me guess. It just happens to be ultra smooth. The rest of it's not. It's not. Let me show you a little inconsistency. I'm not going to do anything to this photo yet. I want to show you right off the bat. Now, people, again, will claim, oh, it's all fake. Again, the question arises, what would they need to obfuscate and, 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 and manipulate a photo for? What would be the reason? Most people say, well, because they, they left other mechanical or technical stuff on the set. For what reason? These people are the smartest people. If you're going to, let's say yourself, you want to perpetrate a hoax, you're going to do everything you can to make sure the public is none the wiser, right? So why would you leave this crap on there only to obfuscate and manipulate the, the objects out of the photo? It makes no goddamn sense, guys. It really makes no sense. Let me get to it. All right. Can you see the legs here? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm going to bring this a lot better for you guys in a moment. You'll see this better and it won't be so broken up. But you got the landing gear here right there with the footing. The other one coming down. And you can see the little extension. Where it's, these are like almost like a shock absorber right here. These coming out. See this one right here? There's another leg with the landing footing. One here again. You've got one here. And, of course, you can't see the other because it's on the other corner of the, uh, uh, the lander, right? So, all right. But you got the, the leg coming down. you got the footing. And then you've got this what looks like this uh, other part of the landing gear, right? Okay. Question. What the hell is this right here? Can you guys actually see the circle? I'm going to zoom in a little bit more for you guys. And this is kind of broken apart. But what is right next to the leg? Wait a minute. There's nothing st sticking out of these legs. See that? There's nothing there. There's nothing there. But yet there's something right here. There's something rectangular. But there's more. Let me show you. We don't even have to do a thing to this photo, guys. Look at this. Something right here. Here. What looks like a pipe or something laying on the ground right here. You can see this. Right in this area. You can see it's darker right here like a hole. Again, if I was to take every shadow away on this photo it would look like it's flat and this has been done not only here on these moon photos but also on mars right okay here's another object over here and you're going to see this pretty down well because i also highlight these things with colors um can you guys see let me see if i can find it the plate right here can you see the plate laying on the ground can't huh there's a reason for it and again i love the idea of jpegs people go why the hell do you use a jpeg you know why because you can see the manipulation easier you can right here Right in the middle of this photo, I'm going to put it right here in the middle of the screen. Right there. Look at how mushed out that is. You can see well, a little bit of detail here, here, and here. But mushed out, completely blurred, blurred, blurred. And it's not because of uh, bad detail or because it's a JPEG. You can literally see the blurring. It's easy to pull out. All right. Right here and on your right, right there, you get this. Comes up. goes. It has like this V shape. Comes back out. But it also has an outline. And it disappears into... The actual ground. Here's another thing. Look at the way these things are like taken right out of the photo right there. You can see where this actual object is sitting here. Look at this, like a square box. See that? Coming down. See that? And it's almost completely airbrushed out. Other objects laying right here on the, on the ground. All this white, that's the actual anomalies, guys. This is what's crazy. You got to pay attention to this stuff. Let's move it back over a little bit. Now, this is some of their testing gear. You can see that, and they've got markers here and all this little test gear right over here. Notice again on this footing on this on this on the lander, it's completely taken out. They airbrushed it. Why? Because there's literally something laying. Can you guys see that? It's actually a line right here, going like this, and they completely took it out. All right, let's jump into actual Photoshop because I can bring it a lot better and smooth it out for you guys. Okay, you can see this is the original size of the photo. Right there. And you can see it on the bottom. You probably can't see it because it says 15.99% or just about 16%. And we're going to blow up the picture for you. We're going to zoom in. Right here, you can see this line going just like this and goes like that. But what, if all, what are all these pieces sticking past and beyond or behind the actual lander, the leg itself? Look at this. Something rectangular. You're going to see these other pieces laying on the ground here. Again, you can see this, this weird pipe going like this. 
And, you know, the reason why you can't see this, because the shadows have been taken away. And if we were to take this, maybe they're just using like a tool that just click, 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 click all over it. And therefore, it takes out the shadowing. You take out any shadowing, any black out of a photo, you've taken all the shadows out. At least because uh, we're talk talking about a black and white, right? But it isn't black and white. Why is the rest of them right here, this whole area right here? What is going on here? Why is this all completely co highly contrasted out? I can see the ground over here is brown. I can see the shadows going consistently in this direction, right? Every one of these. You can see what looks like an antenna or something like that on the back. You can see, obviously, this, the, uh, right there, the astronaut shadow. And again, you can see the, the capsule itself right here. You can see it in the back, the shadowing. You got the actual landing gear shadow. Come on, guys. It's there. All right. Now, let's jump into this. Now, check this out. Let's darken this up and find out if there's anything in this photo. Okay. What is this crap right here? Because anybody tell me what that is. If I had to guess, and I'm only guessing, this could be a crater laying right here. Of course, it's really, really small. Is it a crater or not? I don't know. It's hard to tell what it is. I'm going to say it's a crater. But what is that that they have right here? It literally goes up like this, goes up and then back down. And then whatever is right here, they completely fudged out. And whatever it is, it's either behind or almost against the lander's leg. What the hell is that? Here's the other pieces here. Now I'm just going to jump into a, a lot better photo, try to bring this stuff out for you guys. But check this out. Here's this plate I was telling you about. It's laying right on the ground right here. What is that? You can see by the outlines. This is how I was able to bring it out, right? Um, and actually, I showed you that because you can go like this. You can see this object right here. I can literally see the lines that is doing this. Well, that's not very straight, but it goes around like this, comes back down. You can see it goes up like this, has a couple weird shapes to it. But whatever that is, doesn't really matter. I can see that. You don't actually have to see the object first. You have to see the outline, right? So we can see this right here. We got there's something white that's right here, but here's the blurring to it. Another area of blur, blur, badly blurred. Uh, now, to me, this is all stuff that's being hidden. Now, again, you can see the shapes of these things, and I kind of brought them out a little bit by bringing them a little bit whiter because they do actually have lighter signature to them. Therefore, I can bring them out. These objects right here. There's one, two, three. All these other objects, you can see that this ground is not flat. You can see objects right here. Look at this. Whatever that thing is, look, look like that little pipe weird thing or something right here. Okay. They've got these other ones here. There's something else on the ground right there. But again, we're only pulling out bits and pieces of this because it's it's been meant to be hidden. To me, now I'm going to go ahead and just show the highlighted areas. Something's there. Something's being hidden there. What it is, I couldn't tell you. And whatever it is, again, it's it's going not only here, it's almost up against the leg, but it's going behind it. And you can see it right here. What are these right here? There's nothing else on this on these on the again on these legs. There's nothing there. They're just straight down. That's all they are. And then of course you got the other piece of the uh, landing gear right here, right? But so what is this object that they want like this? You can see the line doing very faintly going like this. What is that? That's up against the lander, against the leg of it. Okay. And then it's actually, and this is a weird thing. It's actually coming out the other side right here. You can see the, the pieces sticking out from behind the leg. What is that? you got another piece. What looks like something like square or rectangular piece sitting right on the ground right here. And then once we bring this out, you've got these other pieces laying all over the ground. This ground is not flat. It's not flat at all. And... Why would they need feel the need to take a picture of, what, just just a lander? Big freaking deal. They got 18,000 photos of this. I mean, of course, I don't know exactly how many. I'm just making up a number. But, again, <laughs> there's more in this moon than meets the eye. And they're not up there. They weren't up there for rocks, guys. They're not up there for rocks. Come on. Another object right here. But they're on the ground. These things are there. Why, why did they feel a need to completely highlight this right here when clearly there is color to this ground. But again, you go right here, you don't see any of that. It's completely 
washed out of any detail. And you say, well, no, it's not. You can see the, you can see the lander. Oh, what does that mean? That doesn't mean they didn't do the rest of the photo. Why is this all completely contrasted, highly contrasted, when the rest of the ground looks perfectly fine? You would see shadows. You would see, uh, you know, high and low parts of the ground. You would see that on the, on the lunar surface, right? And yet you don't. It's without color. It's without shadowing. It's without detail. You have to stop looking at these photos and really scrutinize. I know a lot of you guys will do that. You guys will scrutinize these photos, and that's what I want. I want you guys to check this stuff up for yourself. It's a reconnaissance mission, and they were up there to actually find this stuff or examine it. That's what they were there for. Anyway, guys, not going to take any more of your, of your time. I just wanted to show you some inconsistencies and why I believe a lot of these photos are the real deal. Anyway, guys, throw your comments down below. Give me your ideas what's going on. I could go on and on with this right here and give you all kinds of, um, you know, uh, facts and all kinds of stuff. I just don't want to make it super long. But the idea is to get you guys to do some more thinking for yourself and to really research this stuff. Anyway, guys, got some Martian uh, photos coming up as well as more moon photos. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, have yourself a great day and we'll see you in the next video.